Hi, my name is Amnady. I'm from the United States of America. My mom comes from Guatemala. Um, my name is Nadine Adriana Maldonado Maragón from Honduras. My name is Roxana Romero Rivera. I'm from El Salvador. Hi, my name is Christopher. I'm from the United States and my mom is from Guatemala. I'm an American that happens to come from different cultures, uh, but I do identify as a Hispanic person. I'm Vanessa and I was born in Atlanta, but I was raised temporarily in Mexico, so my parents are from Mexico. I'm growing up, uh, my parents military, my, my father, so English was my second language, Spanish was my first language. My mother wanted to make sure that I kept the heritage that, that I knew how to speak because she wanted me to be a Spanish doctor somewhere. Um, mom, that did not work out, but you know, here we are educating um, children and working with children, which is my passion. I am third generation. I am born in El Paso, Texas. Um, my grandparents are from California and Texas, but my their parents are from Spain, Mexico, and Arab. So I'm third generation here in the U.S. I am Texas. <laughs> A lot of the myths that I've heard during the years that I've been here, um, you know, all, all Spanish is the same. We all speak the same Spanish. Um, we all dance the same music. We all hear the same music, and that's not true. Definitely, I get the work ethic from the culture. Uh, we love to work. Um, the food, awesome food. Um, even though I didn't cook when I was young, I always used to watch my mom cook, and now I can kind of cook a few dishes. Um, and the family orientation. We're very family oriented, and uh, that's the three things that I love about uh, Mexican culture. Um, um, my beliefs, and I believe that uh, Hispanic uh, Heritage Month is very important, just because when we come to the U.S., we f tend to forget where we come from. So 21 Spanish-speaking countries comes with 21 different dialects, food, the culture, the dancing, the music. I mean, we have a lot in common, but we also have our differences. And so with Dominicans, even though we share an island with Haiti and they speak French, we we speak Spanish. Um, we have a lot of the African, Amer like African culture, but we also have European and Latin culture as well. So that's what makes Dominican Republic unique, that we have like a melting pot of the different cultures. I feel like because we see a lot of um, Latina people that look European and white, we get this distortion that they all have lighter skin and you know, um, the longer kind of smoother hair. And I think they, because of that, they fail to see like the, the different kinds of people, you know, like me, um, Afro-Latina and also people of indigenous descent. So I feel like if we had more representation in the media, that will help, you know, show people that yes, we're out there and we're thriving in Latin America. The myth of, oh, I guess like in like spicy food. Um, I love spicy food, but not everybody in my family loves spicy food. You know, I have brothers. And, I have twelve brothers and sisters. It's a total of twelve of us, and not all of them like spicy foods. And that's one of the myths. You know, all Mexican or Latinos like spicy food. That's that's not correct. In general, Spanish is very similar in terms of grammar and things of that sort. But when you come to foods and uh, some other words, sometimes, well, many times, people from different countries use different words. So we just have to spend a little time and ask each other, what do we mean? Or... They say that we don't pronounce the double R when we say carro. Well, and, and we're like, not all of us do that. Sometimes, yeah, so, yeah some people, people have a problem with say carro, but they don't know how to say carro. Listen, the Spanish word for bus, what is it? Guagua. Guagua. Gua. 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 Uh -huh. say guagua. Uh -huh. Como tu dices? No. I say guagua too, but it's so funny because that's not proper. Because guagua is because, no, it's autobus, but, yeah. but, but it's proper. It's a kind of proper because uh -huh. we have an institution that is the the Real Academia de la Lengua Española. This institution regulates the our language, and it, some some um, countries has different words. That doesn't mean that it's not proper or right. it's incorrect. It's because this in this region is, this is correct and it's proper, and we that is the amazing you know the, our amazing language that is 
it's, just, it's unique. Uh, it's like same but different. Uh -huh. and that's what I keep saying. Yeah. We are celebrating um, Hispanic Month which represents many of us. I think a lot of people did not know that I am half Latino, Hispanic, American. Um, my mother's Colombian, she's from Colombia. Um, grew up in Germany, however, I speak Spanish, read and write Spanish. Um, one of the things that we want to highlight today is um, Hispanic. What is Hispanic? We talk about Latinos, it's the same thing. One, the Hispanic heritage has to do with Spain, um, being that many countries were discovered by Christopher Columbus. Um, and Latinos just mean that you were born in Latin America, either South America, Central America, the Caribbean, or North America where Mexico resides. Well, I think that these days, um, Latino is uh, embraced a little more. Hispanic pretty much talks about our roots as a Spanish colon colony, a Spanish colonies. So that happened so many years ago that I think uh, the countries in America and in the Caribbean in which Spanish is spoken are considered Latin American um, countries. So I think a lot of us identify with the word Latino or Latina if you're talking about a woman. Feliz Dia del Mes de los Hispanos. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month.